Apologies for the echo that might be in this room. I am in the bathroom, I'm at my parents' house, I'm filming this video because I didn't have time to film a video at my flat and I wanted to film this video. And also, this video is gonna be an empty products video where I review my empty products, so like a full review of products that I fully used up or maybe I haven't used them up because I didn't like them. And there's not too many, but most of my empty products are at my parents' house because I stay at my parents during the week and I go back to my flat on the weekends due to like where I work. But yeah, product number one is the Body Shop Nikuaku and Coffee Intense Awakening Mask. I have completely used this product up. This is the second mask, like one of these that I have completely used up. I personally really liked this mask. I felt like it was quite hydrating for my skin in like a softening kind of glowy way. And I did enjoy using it. I liked the like scrubby coffee like bits in it because I felt like it kind of gave a slight exfoliation. Like I would literally like rub it in before I kind of applied it. And I liked that about it. I also really liked the smell of coffee. So that's another plus for me. Would I repurchase this? I'm not entirely sure because there are many face masks out there and I wanna try them all. I love face masks. I have my own face masks on my own little skincare business called Fresh Face, which will be linked in the description. If you wanna go and check out my Etsy or eBay, I do have a couple of face masks on there. But yeah, I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I did quite like it. I would probably rate this a seven out of 10. I also have some dry shampoo. This is the Party Nights dry shampoo from Girls Only Hair Care. I literally just got this from, I think it was Lidl or Tesco. And um, yeah, it's decent. It works, it's good. Nothing more I can say. <coughs> then we have this Revital Labs Retinol and Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizing Day and Night Face Cream. There's a lot of words on this packaging. Do I like the packaging? No, I feel like there's a lot going on. There's a lot of like words just screaming at me. Do I like the design of the packaging? I don't know. It's one of those ones where you have to kind of like push it down to get product out and then the moisturizer will like come out from the top of here and then you apply it. And I personally didn't really like that. I like to have like a squeezy tube or like a pot. I know this is more hygienic, but I think a squeezy tube is pretty hygienic anyway. So yeah, I didn't really like that fact about it, but that's just me being really picky. The actual product, I love hyaluronic acid. It's very hydrating to the skin. That is what it is all about. And I like the fact that this had that in there. It also has retinol, which is meant to be good for like uh, reducing wrinkles or preventing like fine lines and wrinkles. And obviously I can't really give a review about that because I am 21, but I did quite like it, I would say. Um, but would I repurchase it? No, I don't think so, but it was super cheap. I literally got it off Amazon for like three pounds or something. I am here for cheap skincare and makeup. We then have a deodorant. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm including this Nivea Pearl and Beauty deodorant, and it is because I actually particularly liked this one. I wouldn't normally like want to include deodorants in an empties video because it's just a deodorant, but this one is my favorite one I've ever used. And first of all, I like the kind of like look of it in the bottle because you can actually see the deodorant in the bottle and it does have like a pearlescent kind of like um, look to it and I do like that, so quite shiny. Also, I like the fact that you can see the product in it because it means that you know how much is left. I hate using a roll of deodorant and you don't know how much is left in it and it just runs out one day and I'm like, oh, great. Like, and I'm gonna smell for the rest of the day basically. So I like to see that and it worked better than deodorants from Lidl, so it worked better than um, the Lidl roll-on deodorants. Um, but maybe this is because it is branded, I don't know. But even unbranded stuff is great. I'm not a brand snob at all. But I did find that this did work particularly well and I did like the smell of this. So yeah, go and get that. I would actually recommend. Um, I don't know why I'm so enthusiastic about a deodorant, but here we are. Then I am kind of promoting myself again here, but 
I ran out of two of my own cleansing balms. This one is my old packaging. This is the Fresh Face by Georgie Carr Lemon Scented Cleansing Balm. And um, yeah, I ran out of both of them. Yeah, this is the new packaging. This is the old packaging. This one is a bit thicker than this one. Um, but this one is like bigger, um, if you know what I mean. There is slightly less product in my newer one, like newer packaging, but I did reduce the price to compensate for that. And I just prefer it. I don't know. Anyway, I ran out of both of them. My cleansing balm, first of all, I do not use any other cleansing balm and I never will. I, when I first created this product, I had a formula for the product and over a few months, I kind of like trialed and tested it and changed it a little bit. I didn't change the ingredients. I just changed the amount of each ingredient because that does make a big impact. And I've got it to a kind of like very buttery, like melt your makeup away kind of texture. And I really like that. And I love cleansing balms in general, but particularly this one, because A, I love the smell of the lemon, B, I like how it kind of glides onto my skin, melts away my makeup, and then you just get like a muslin cloth or um, it's just anything and wipe it away, just a cloth. And then, you know, do your second cleanse. I would always recommend to double cleanse. In general, you're getting away that first layer of makeup. Like I consider this a makeup removal product rather than a cleanser, if you know what I mean. So this is there to remove makeup. Even if you're not wearing makeup, still use a cleansing balm, get rid of any of like the dirt from the day basically. But yeah, I, this is probably my favorite product that I sell on my Etsy and eBay because I genuinely love and use it so much. As you can tell, this is, I've used both of these up and I've used many up. It is super low on stock on my Etsy and eBay, so go and buy one if you want to try it because it is very low on stock and I'm not entirely sure when this particular product will be restocked. But I am literally, I'm so happy with how this product like is now. And um, yeah, so I use that up and I've raced 10 out of 10. I do really like it. So yeah, by the way, all of my skincare products are handmade and I buy all the packaging, the labels, the ingredients, I make the products, I package every order and send it off. So yeah then we have the body shop cbd restoring facial oil this is something i ran out of recently i personally love the packaging of this it's very simplistic it's also like a nice green kind of color but i think i love the simplicity to skincare products like when they look like this it is like a little dropper bottle but my review of this i quite liked including a facial oil into my skincare routine i felt like it made a difference in terms of softness of the skin but would i repurchase this do i notice a difference in the condition of my skin really not that much i was using this for months and months and it was nice and it was obviously like very moisturizing and hydrating to the skin but i don't think it made enough of a difference for me to want to repurchase this so um I would recommend giving it a go if you like facial oils, but I'm not necessarily a facial oil kind of person because I do have oily skin, but it was nice. It was nice. Then we have the Mario Badescu Buttermilk Moisturiser. First of all, I think this is a sample size, um, but first of all, I dislike the colour. It's like a bright blue colour. I don't want my skincare to be like bright colours. I want it to, like it, it just, to me, it screams like fake. Like, I don't know, what am I on about? It just, it just doesn't look like how I want it to look. I want my skincare to look just simple, like how it is made. I don't want it to have colours added to it for it to get to that stage. Um, I don't know if I'm just being silly, but I, I didn't really like that. And then also the product itself, I just felt like it was just average, really. There's nothing more I can say. I also ran out of my vitamin C clay face mask from Gleamin. This is the second one of these that I've had. So they've actually worked with me on two videos. They actually, um, I did two sponsored videos with them reviewing this clay face mask. And I did really, really like it. It made my skin really nice and glowy, which is great. I think that's what it's actually meant to do. Yeah, because this has got vitamin C in it. Um, it's in the title, obviously it has. Um, but yeah, it makes your skin glowy. And I actually really like that and I wouldn't buy it again because 
it has turmeric in it and you can smell the turmeric but that's not really an issue but I like to try new face masks as you know so yeah I won't rebuy this but I did quite like it and finally for this empties video I have this hyaluronic acid no I have this hydrating facial mask with hyaluronic acid I actually really like this now this was 70 um 75p off of shop miss a i did do a full haul video showing shop miss a products and also like a first impressions i love this face mask it's up there with one of my all-time favorite face masks this is more of a hydrating face mask rather than kind of more like um like it's a clay mask but it's hydrating most clay masks are more kind of like impurity stripping and kind of oil reducing whereas this one's hydrating and softening of the skin and my skin felt so soft after this i swear it was clearer i love this and 75p like go and get it it is worth every penny i really love this and will i rebuy this again yes i will also i just forgot to mention one of my empties which is the mario badescu hyaluronic acid eye cream did really like this. It's obviously a very small pot because it is just an eye cream. It did run out quite quickly as well. Um, but I did like this. However, I don't know if eye creams work. Like, how do you know if an eye cream works? Because um, I, I don't have wrinkles, so I can't really say if it's like done anything. But yeah, I liked it. So that is everything for my empties video. Just a little roundup of kind of like my favorite things from this video. Favourite, favourite thing has to be this face mask, as I've just discussed, and also my cleansing balm. Don't forget that. Link is in the description if you are interested, or just check out my Etsy and eBay in general. And also, the deodorant I would recommend. Least favourite products has to be this little guy, this buttermilk, and probably... probably this moisturizer i'm not gonna lie um so yeah that is everything for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more videos on my channel i hopefully will have a weekly vlog coming next week weekly vlog number 13 perhaps i'm not sure um but yeah that is it for this video and i will see you then goodbye